Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I've got a neat little album idea for you that I've made quite small, but you can size it up to your own requirements. And it's a, it's like a Rolodex machine. The pages turn round, you can display it in a star shape. But also the great thing about this is, is your pages stay in, but as soon as you want to take them out, they just pull out really easily. And the reason they do this is because they're held in with these tabs. So when you want to pop it back in, you simply slide it, the pages of it, in between the, the tabs. And once they're closed, it holds them in. So I'm going to show you how to make this. What you want to do to start with is start with your outside spine, this piece here. So you need a piece of card that is 15 centimetres high by 30 centimetres long. And we're going to score this two and a half centimetres on each long edge. And then two and a half centimetre increments all the way along. Fold up and crease your long edges. And then what you want to do is you want to concertina fold from the bottom. So fold this one in and that one out and in and out. So you've got your concertina. And then what you need to do is on every mountain fold, as you're looking at the wrong side of the paper, you need to just clip the intersection. And you do it up to that long score line on both sides of the sheet. And there will be a folding and cutting template in the description below. There'll be a link to that so you can see exactly how to do it. And then with each of these pieces that you've cut, you need to fold in the corners. So that when it's folded, it makes the how can I describe it? It, it will make the fitting. You'll see better what I mean when I've actually completed all of it. So that's your last corner fold. And we fold all these bits up. And actually, let's just give them a good crease. You can do this with a bone folder or the end of your scalpel. Now you don't want to apply any glue to these because you need to leave these open as it were so that you can fit your pages into it. So if you reconcertina it while tucking those ends in, you have the spine here I've done it again, red on red, sorry. But you've got your fittings 
on the inside. Now you do need to glue these bits together. So I'm going to do that quickly and leave that to dry while I show you how to make the covers. So now I've glued the concertina. Your pages will open, but your spine stays as it is. Now I'm just going to grab a couple of clips to hold that. So it doesn't spring open while I do the next bit. And we'll put that to one side. So the next thing you want to make are your covers. And your covers are made of a piece of card covered on both sides with patterned paper. So because this is 10 centimetres long, you actually want to cut your cover nine and a half centimetres square. And then we will paste your piece of plain card. Pop it in the middle of a slightly larger piece of card. And then to make your folds really neat, what I would do is use a ball ended tool and a ruler and score that larger piece on the edges of your plain nine and a half centimetre square card. Right to your corners. And then fold each of them in. And then run some glue around the inside to hold them down. And then to, to further stiffen your cover, take another piece of patterned paper, trim it down to nine and a half centimetres square, same size as that initial piece of plain card. And then just pop that on the back to cover up those folded edges. And then what that should do is that will just fit inside your first set of triangles like so to make a cover. Just going to clamp that again while the glue finishes drying. And I'm going to make the back cover in exactly the same way. So I've covered another nine and a half centimetre square of card in the same way to make the back cover. Which then fits in your last little section. So there's your covers. And then to make the inserts, your inserts sit over that mountain fold. And really what you need to do, well you don't need to do, you can actually just put individual pages in there if you want, but I've made them as little pockets so that you can put more stuff inside them. So you can put photographs on the front and back, you can put little wallets with photographs in the middle. So you need to make sure that when you do it, you've got a gap on that bottom edge so that it can fit on either side of that mountain fold. So, grab yourself a piece of card, which is, what is this, 19 and a half by 10 and a half. And the reason it's, it's 19 and a half and not 20 is because you don't want your pages to extend the cover. Um, but what you do need to do is on this long edge, 
you need to score at one centimeter. and fold it up and then you need to fold it in half and then you need to trim up the top edge because you've realised that your cutting wasn't actually as accurate as you thought it was in the first place. And then with this folded edge, you just want to cut away a mitre and the whole of one side. But then also, because you need to leave a gap and you need to leave, uh, what's that, two and a half centimetres? Yeah, two and a half centimetres you need to cut this piece away as well. And that means when you fold this bottom bit up and glue it, you've got a bottom to your folder so things don't fall out but you've also got this piece here, which enables you to slip one side of the folder on one side. And then it will wrap around the spine so the other side can be held in. And I've made several little pockets like this. Let me just reassure you that in real life, it's a lot easier to put these pages in than it is on camera life, where you're trying to make sure that people can see what you're doing. So there you go, a little five page Rolodex type wallet, wallet, album, with pockets at the top. So you can slip photographs in, you can decorate with photographs, as this one here. And also the handy thing about these little clips, you can tuck other bits just inside the clips. And when it's closed, they don't fall out. But when it's open, if you need to remove pages or add more photographs, it's quite simply a job, a, a case of pulling that sleeve out. So neat little idea. Just need a little bit of patience. But it makes a really pretty gift idea. To present somebody with some memorable photographs. Hope you like that. I hope you'll come back and see us again very, very soon. We have lots of other demonstrations. There will be a template in the description below and if you subscribe we can notify you when we've got a new demo coming up. In the meantime, please keep safe and thank you very much for watching.